got chickens has always wondered, what do I do if I'm at home and I need to close up the coop and they're not here? So I came up with a simple invention. Let's me use my smartphone and I can open and close the coop when I'm at home. Right from the camera. You may want to watch out there, girl. Watch out, it's coming down. Okay, you're making me stop it, huh? You're not gonna move out of the way. So I can close the coop while I'm out at home. And I can open it up just as easily from the phone, whether I'm on the Wi Fi network or if I'm out just off the cellular. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I did it. Hey, all you YouTube folks out there. Uh, I haven't done a video for a while, so I figured I'd uh, get this one going and give you guys an idea of what I've been doing. Um, this year I got into raising chickens. I've got six Rhode Island Red chickens. And uh, uh, they're pretty pretty cool. Just about to start laying this some uh, eggs for us now. But I was uh, watching a video from another guy who uh, uh, showed me how to make the coop I made. Um, and you know, I'll just give you a, a look at it. So this is this coop I made. Um, like I said, I got six row down red chickens. And all the girls are now about 20 weeks old. I have them on layer feed now for about two weeks. And uh, the whole coop here was inspired by uh, SSL Family Guide. I'll put a link down below of him and his channel. And also he's got a website out there where you can pick up plans to make this uh, chicken coop. Uh, I got a clean out on the bottom. Um, in his description, he actually has a drawer that slides out with that. I didn't want stuff getting caught around the drawer, so I just made it plain um, where I could just pull the uh, any of the waste out of the front. It's got a big door, which opens up. And uh, painted the whole inside white. And got a little bit of stuff on there from chickens, but it's got temporary roost in her right now, which I will take out this side over here, which is blocking off the uh, layer box. I'm um, just waiting to make the uh, next roost so they can sit in here. But uh, I'd mentioned to him that I made this coop and that I'd make, uh, put an automatic chicken door on here. So what I used was a linear actuator. It's a 12 volt linear actuator. And up above here, sitting right up in here, I've got a 12 volt AC to DC power supply. And I've got a box right here, which is, uh, there's a relay kit that goes with the linear actuator that lets you uh, control it because it's three amps and you burn out your switch. So basically, if I hit the down button, it lowers the door down, hit it up, it raises the door. So right after I made this, I was going to be going on vacation, and I was going to uh, be in Mexico, so I wouldn't have been able to be around, and it's really kind of a don't want to have somebody coming over here every day to open and close the coop and all that. So um, with one of his videos, he had a PVC watering system, which I uh, made that also, which has chicken nipples underneath here. All the girls come over, see me. So they tap on the little nipples in there and they get water. So um, how to open the coop when you're not here was the big question. So in my house, uh, we've got a couple cameras, which are Foscam cameras, which you can look around the house while you're not there. So I decided to hook one of those up inside the coop also. So on the other side of the coop, right up here, I've got a camera. And I made a little bracket up on top there, which has a alarm system switch. 
And on the other side, there's another one with the alarm sw system switch. So if I roll the camera around this way, it connects. I don't know if you can see it right there. There's a uh, magnet on the back of the camera. It either connects the one switch on one side or the one switch on this side. Which, in theory, which goes over with this wire right here. And goes into the control panel. So instead of me actually being here to switch the switch back and forth, it does that with the micro switches. So the girls all come in at night, and uh, I go ahead and lower the door down, uh, make sure they're safe at night because we've got coyotes and we've got raccoons and other things that like chicken. And everybody says uh, there's nothing on the planet that doesn't like chicken. So, so right now we're just waiting for them to uh, lay some eggs. And uh, the SSL family guy, he made this in two pieces, which I decided to use uh, the two by sixes and make it into one piece. And watching his video where he moved his uh, chicken coop, it was pretty heavy. And I know why now, because uh, it is a bear to move. So once a week, we actually will move it to a different spot. I don't know if you can see the spots on the grass where they've eaten the grass out but the good news is it only lasts about three weeks of bad grass because on the other side is where we had it originally and that grass is already grown in so this is the uh, nesting box which we have not opened yet up yet I was gonna wait until they start laying and uh, gotta get some dividers in there and get that all set up uh, the bottom of the chicken coop I made with uh, tile flooring so it's really easily cleaned up and uh, oh, that's about it I'll put some video footage in here how I'm controlling it from the, the phone and uh, how it all works out for us but the girls uh, we had them in here for a week had uh, a couple different sources of food for them um, and we were opening and closing the coop from 2,000 miles away so that's a bit about it for today. Yeah. What makes you say that? They're all curious to see what I'm doing out here with this. Oh, that is, you uh, put your fingers underneath the edge of the door though. You bite your fingers. But so that's what I've been doing. Um, took about uh, three weeks to build the coop. About two weeks to automate it. Um, probably total cost in this coop. Probably got about eight hundred dollars with the linear actuator automatic door opener, and maybe another uh, hundred dollars if you figure the cam, which the Fosca uh, Fosca cam that uh, controls the whole switch thing. But if you have any questions about it, uh, put some comments down below. And I will make sure I comment back of how I did whatever you're uh, in question of. But if you like the video, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you again soon.